What's powerful is prayer. You have Christians coming from every denomination, Catholics, Lutherans, Baptists, who come out to pray. And when you pray, God hears, okay? And God answers. Regent's Hospital has just announced that they're going to close their abortion facility. This has been the site of seven 40 Days for Life campaigns over the past three and a half years. It heightens the awareness of the tragedy of the killing of innocent children. And my experience with it has been just an opportunity to uh, really take a, a public declaration for the gospel. After being uh, frustrated with the way society and was not embracing the culture of life, I did some Googling and I found 40 Days for Life in the campaign hosted by Pro-Life Action Ministries in the Twin Cities. And so I took a leap of faith and I went down to the local abortion facility and joined in prayer for one hour with the others on the, on the sidewalk. And I found it to be a fantastic experience and it changed my life. I thought, 40 days, that's so many hours, that's so many volunteers. And then I remembered 40 is an important number in the Bible. God destroyed the world by 40 days of rain and then he revived it. Moses led the Israelites out of the Promised Land after they wandered for 40 years. Christ fasted in the desert for 40 days and was tempted by the devil. So 40 days of prayer and fasting to stop the evil of abortion is most appropriate. It's such a public witness to what we're about. When people drive by and they see a lot of people standing out there with signs that are against Planned Parenthood and against abortion. That message is conveyed through our public witness. It's showing that we're there and it's showing people that, that we do care uh, and that we're there for them. Uh, we're here to pray for you, to know, let you know that you're loved, that you're God's children, and, and that we're here to support you. I just felt that being there was a message to not only maybe somebody coming in to have an abortion, but the people who work there. They had to see these vigils 24-7 for 40 days. And that's what we want. We have seen people who were going in for an abortion down at Regents Hospital turn around because someone was out there praying and they had an opportunity to talk with them. It makes a difference. It does. A prayer is the best thing we can do. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed to change lives, we have to really be in front of people, being a witness to them, not just witnessing, but, but really living the gospel in front of them. And I believe 40 Days for Life is one of those very simple and yet profound ways that we can do that. It's showing that we're there, and it's showing people that, that we do care. It's really a testament to our neighborhood and our community that abortion is wrong and that we can put an end to it. If someone had been out there praying, I would have two children. I know it makes a difference. But also, the most important thing that happens at 40 Days for Life is what happened at Regents Hospital and what has happened around the country. And that is, the abortion facility in that hospital closed. Coming out here and praying is the reason why they're closing this abortion facility. People are hearing this message, and in the, in the community, people are turning to life, and they're choosing to embrace life over death. 700 babies didn't have to die because that abortuary closed down. Since the start of 40 Days for Life, almost 9,000 women have chosen life for their babies. You know, the scripture says how sweet and how wonderful it is when God's people come together, okay, and worship and fellowship together. And he honors that. It isn't just us out there on our own. We know that this is what God really wants us to be doing. It's quite simple. We're, we're children of God, and we're meant to protect that. And if God wills for these children to come to, come to life, and and we're here to protect that. Of course, it's, it's a basic fundamental right. What I like about 40 Days for Life is that anybody can participate, from the littlest little person to the oldest. Do this in memory of me. 
The body of Christ needs to pay attention to this. And 40 Days for Life is a clarion call that pays attention. I think it's powerful to be part of a, a group that believes in something so strongly. I thought, this is the hand of God. This is God. I can't joke I'm thinking about it. it. It was, and then it just, you just know this is what you have to do. I'm very grateful to Pro-Life Action Ministries, to Brian Gibson, Deborah, and the rest of the staff that make it possible to help save lives. What they do, you cannot put a numerical number on the value of what they do. It's invaluable, and I'm very, very grateful to them.